We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Philadelphia Phillies and the San Diego Padres. It's Padres Baseball next on the show. Zach Davies, a Washington-born right-hander, gets the starting assignment. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, you can't always judge a pitcher by the numbers. I know the ERA is into the fours coming into this start, but he's actually a pretty solid pitcher. And every once in a while, he can throw some decent games in there. It's not easy having an ERA under four in baseball. He's slightly Read over that. But this guy's a better pitcher than that the ERA top. indicates. Gene Segura standing in. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Swing and a line drive. Foul. First pitch, 7 11. Here's the 0 1. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. Guys, the swing and friars as they take the field here tonight. They come in playing well. Six and three over the last nine ball games, including a victory last time out. Yeah, Matty B. Hey, D. Well, look at a team that's playing some pretty good baseball right now. Through the first five games of this homestand, four and one, and looking for some bigger and better things. Yeah, we had a chance to sit down before the game after BP with the manager. He was really pleased with the way his team has played in these last five. Let's see if it continues today. The one, two. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Here's the pitch. Helpful. Wow, talk about a waste pitch on 2 and 2. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Myers is under it, and that's the first out of the inning. Static second. The second baseman. Jose Peraza. Digging in. Jose Peraza. And as you check out his righty lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right handers. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Aye. Head to head numbers against Zach Davies. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. And set up behind the plate is Joe McDonald, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew in this one. Hey, Joe McDonald, he's a tough guy to figure out sometimes, D Row. One inning, he'll be given that inside corner. The next inning, he doesn't get much of that inside corner. His zone fluctuates a lot. You know, Dan, you can see some definite confusion on the face of some hitters today. Question in the strike zone. One pitch is a strike on the outer half. The next time it's a ball. Kind of a little cat and mouse with the umpire when you should be focused on the pitcher. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Two and oh to the Philly okay. center fielder. Swing and a shot hit down the corner. But it bends just fouled into the second deck. The 2 1. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Phillies down in order. And now the Friars will get their first chance. No score. He's on the mound for the Phillies. Dan, any thoughts? One of the things we'll look for early, Matty, Zach Wheeler, at times control can be an issue. So one of the keys for Zach Wheeler, getting ahead early in counts. Stepping
coming in, number 28. He'll lead things off here in the bottom Leading half of the first. Andre, the right field, number 28. And the pitch. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. These Phillies, as they enter play here tonight, fellas, they come in looking to turn things around as they've dropped two straight. Yeah, Maddie. what I need to see out of this offense today is some early production. Somebody's got to get on, on base and, and put the defense on their heels. They've been struggling recently. They're not swinging the bats well. They got shut out yesterday, and this offense needs to adjust itself. Here's Wheeler on one and one. Unable to find the zone with the slider. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off. A hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. And back it off a bit with a fastball in, but it's three and one now. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Fastball in there, three and two. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. Now the three and two pitch. Gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. At the plate, Fernando Tatis Jr. Ready. Here's the first offering. And he throws the fastball oh, by him here. 0 and 1. Hey, this offense better be prepared to pull a trigger. This starter is known to be aggressive and come right after you. And a fastball swung on and hit to second. And that's the second out. Stepping in, Tommy Pham. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Wheeler sets his sights. Here's the pitch. And a good fastball there, but this just misses the zone for ball one. Wouldn't mind the pitcher expanding the zone a little bit more and using his aggressiveness against it. Now it's 2-0. Strike call, two and one. Borderline pitch right there. But as a low ball hitter, you can live with that as long as the umpire doesn't give him north as well. Three and one to the Padres left fielder. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even got himself into a good hitter's count now. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. What's the call? It's a home run. And now hold on just a second here. It would appear that they're going to discuss whether this in fact stayed inside the foul pole. They're going to go inside and have a look at the video replay as we'll take a look and let you decide for yourself. View looks like it's over. Was there indisputable video evidence? Yes, it's a foul ball after all. So take the home run off the board, and there's an instance where the video review got it right. Two out, nobody on. Swing and a ground ball to third. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. And the payoff pitch. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Padres down in order. Still no score.
standing in, Bryce Harper. What a season he's having. Entering play when he the league in two of the three triple crown category. Yeah, this guy's got the home run and runs batted in thing figured out for the triple crown, but he's not in the top five in the batting average if he wants to win the triple crown, so he's going to have to make up a lot of ground. And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. Uh, had him off stride that time, and it's Down one and two. One and two. Hey, I can't have one of my best left-handed power bats fishing for balls off the plate. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Now another one-two. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one. He swings and misses for the first out. Oh, I love watching a pitcher that can run a good hard fastball in on a guy's hands and completely lock him up. That's such a tough pitch to do anything with. If you can locate your fastball there consistently, you're going to have a lot of success as a pitcher. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. Oh, yes, he'll take a look at ball one. Hoskins brings a ton of pop to the plate with him, particularly against right-handed pitching. Some guys don't drive the ball as well when facing a pitcher who throws from the same side that they swing the bat, but that's certainly not the case here. Yeah, this guy just absolutely hammers right-handed pitching. You know, some guys like the ball in, coming towards him, and that's exactly what the righty-on-righty -righty matchup presents itself. One ball, a two-seamer two in, a four-seamer that leaks out over the plate, a hanging breaking ball. This guy seems to absolutely hammer those. The one-two. Still a ball and two strikes. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. Fouled off. No score here as we play any number two. Staying alive, putting together a really good at-bat here. One, two. It's that's a breaking ball. ball that's taken for a ball. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats, and all in all, he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, that it's good. going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. Here's Jay Bruce now. As he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. to the right of second. We go on to Adams to take care of him, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Here's Matt Adams now. He did not play last night. He'll be back in the starting nine for this one. Coming here it is. 
Hey, love the pitcher attack in the zone right here. He knows he's got a patient hitter at the plate. Might as well steal that first strike. Now the 0-1. Off the plate, ball one. That's not a bad pitch right there. That two-seamer moving away from a left-handed hitter. Didn't get the strike, but I like the idea behind the pitch. 1-1. One, one. Lazy fly ball out to center field. Here's the center fielder, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. The center fielder, Will Meyer. So here's Will Myers. He's entering play in this one, a home run shy of 20 for the season. Ready. Here's the first offering. Nope, a ball and no strikes. Myers playing here in his age 29 season. He was selected in the third round back in the 2009 MLB draft. Yeah, Maddie, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute nope. superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name. The kids are buying his jerseys. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. has a cut at that one but misses two and one well as demonstrated there that's a tough pitch to do anything with oh you think if you've got a good fastball like he does that location can be really effective it looks so tempting to the hitter but making contact on that pitch could be very tough and it's fouled away uh, two two it's a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Hate to be Captain Obvious here, but he looks great to begin this start. That's already three Ks for him in the first five hitters. It'd be awesome to see him keep up this pace. So bases are empty here with two gone. And Austin Hedges will be the next to hit. First offering on its way. Didn't Whoa, quite catch the zone down. there. Ball one. That's oh, up around the chin there. Two and oh. Wheeler gets the sign. Here's the pitch. Ball three. Now with the base is empty, I think he needs to be careful not to just groove one here just because it's 3-0. He's a guy that could ambush you and lose one over the wall. Here's the pitch. And he fouls this one off. Bottom of the second here with no score. High and deep down the left field line. And no one will get this one. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. Three up, three down for San Diego. We move to the third with no score. to the plate for the Phils, Justin Turner. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. It's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. And now a pitch on the way. Lifted into the air to shallow center. Myers comes on now and he has it one down. 
Not in so with one gone in okay. the inning, we'll take a look at where these guys sit in the standings, oh, and I think they can pretty much start to think about next year because they are well back in the division ranks. Stepping up now, Zach Collins, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Here it comes. Ball one. Down and away, one ball and no strikes. Collins, a native Floridian, is in his rookie year here at the big league level. And he misses again, 2-0. Not a great spot to be in right here, 2-0, but I'm not so sure why he's pitching this guy so cautiously. A bottom-of-the-order guy you don't normally see getting pitched like this. Now here it comes. Down That's low, the and the plot thickens here, 3-0. and oh. I'd be shocked if this wasn't a four-pitch walk right here. He doesn't want to mess around and leave something over the heart of the plate and get beat in this situation. And that misses as well. Ball four, so it's a four-pitch walk here. They haven't been able to register a hit against this guy, but at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. So one gone in the inning here with the runner at first. And the pitcher strides into the batter's box here, Zach Wheeler. From the belt, kicks and deals. Wanting to avoid the double play here as he gets this one down. There's one. He'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out. Now, uh, he got the bunt down, but he didn't get hit enough. Really good job by the first baseman to charge in and make a good throw to second to get the lead runner. So it's back to the top of the order now. And that'll bring in Gene Segura. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Now a strike called in the upper part of the zone. That elevated fastball right there. That is the biggest change in the game today for me. When I first came up, a lot of guys working at Greg Maddox east to west. Two home. Popped up. Adams in foul ground. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Third inning, no score to this point. Three. Check swing here, but he holds up far too late as it's strike three, and the inning is over. One left for Philadelphia. All half of the third coming up. No score. Stepping into the box, Owen Miller, 7, 8, and 9 to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. First delivery to him on the way. Swung on and missed strike one. Wheeler has made a name for himself as a starter that simply misses the barrel of the bat. He rarely allows a large number of hits and he does a pretty good job of keeping the ball in the ballpark when the hitters do make contact. And he lays off for a ball two and one. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Ball even at two and two. Don't quite know where that one missed, but it's not for me to decide. Three and two. Curtis Cantu, the number eight hitter here, waits on deck. And this 
bases popped up near second base. Therefore, it is Segura to make the play. One gone. Batting eight. The second baseman. Curtis. Ten two. Set to get his evening at the plate started. Curtis ten two. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year. Looking to get things turned around in a hurry. First pitch of the at bat. And he pours this one in at the letter. It's 0 1. Both teams so far yet to crack the hit column. Pulled the fastball down a little too much there. That's ball one. One and two. Look at the radar gun on that slider. Off speed pitch, 91 miles an hour. That's just pure filth. Fouled away. Here's another one, two. Good plate discipline to lay off the slider that time when he draws even a two and two. Andre still with the big goose egg in the hit column thus far. Count remains two and two. There's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. Hey, this has been an epic at bat right here. I don't blame the pitcher for a little nibbling right there. Maybe get a swing and a miss. He didn't bite on that once, and now we go full count. The 3 2 pitch. Fouled off. one that misses and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he comes out of the way. Zach Davies steps up to the plate in a sacrifice situation so let's see if that is indeed on right here. From the stretch and he pops up the bunt attempt. Wheeler is there and he makes the catch for the out. The batter, number 28. Digging in now for San Diego. Number 28. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Wheeler pauses. First pitch on the way. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Cantu leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. One and one to San Diego's leadoff batter. One ball, one strike. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. One two misses ball, ball two. two. Here now the two two yanked high and deep down the line in right, and it's a foul ball. Two, two. Full count. Three and two. 
good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Bottom of inning number three. Nothing, nothing our score. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Padres lead one. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off-speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low-scoring affairs. One and one to count. First in time, one gone here in the fourth. The and while Robert we have a moment, here's a look at the Padres road to the show report. Two players that this organization has to be happy about right now. Exactly the way you'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes, but the bottom line is he's getting outs. Nope. That's over, ball but low, it's a ball and a strike. And it's fouled away. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's kind of beaten. A 3 2 pitch. Now that's popped up. They'll squeeze this one for the second out. Now batting the right fielder, Dwight Harper. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Bryce Harper, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Field in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Just off the outside that time. Laid off for a ball. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Now the one and one pitch. It's laid off ball. for ball one two. Break. No runs, no hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Time to wake up the offense right here. Three one count, all in on something over the heart of the plate. up to a 3-2 full count now. I'm absolutely shocked he took that pitch right there. Right in the wheelhouse, low 90s heater. That's one you got to let go on. And this one misses high for ball four, and they have themselves a two-out base runner. 
Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more walks than other guys is exactly what we saw right there. Pitchers work around them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. So it's a runner at first with two gone, and that'll bring in a perennial MVP candidate for years to come, Reese Hoskins. Now a throw over. And a dive, but he's back in. Oh, he's keeping in there. particularly close tabs on it. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Count one and they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Perhaps a little low there. It's 2 0. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Pulled high in the air out to left field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. So no runs on no hits, no errors, and one man left on base. To the bottom of inning number four we go. We are tied, nothing, nothing. And that'll bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. He's over one after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Popped up. Hoskins is there. And that's the first out of the inning. The left fielder, number 20 down. Tommy. Now in the box, Tommy Pham. Here's the first pitch to him. Shin high, that's taken for a ball. Up. Here comes the 1 0. Line toward right center. And the Friars are into the hit column. You think there's any justice in the game? Watch those two. Both of them hit on the fence on the screws. One's right at them, right? And then one's a center. Now, Matt Adams has the first pitch to him, runs a bit inside for goal one. So far, 0 for 1 with a fly out. A 1 and 0 delivery. Hey! His heater's got some late ride through the zone. A lot of late swings right now. You're only going to get to that pitch if you get the front foot down early. One, two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Open to send him packing, pitch on its way. A swing and a miss for out number two, and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. 
Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye level. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. You think you can drive it, but it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. Right, right, He's running. Right this is low. The throw down. Well behind the play. That's an easy stolen base. You know, I like the aggressiveness there. They haven't cracked the scoreboard at this point, so it's clear they're trying to manufacture something by forcing the action. We'll see if it works out for him. One and oh, here it is. Now a swing and a miss at a slider for a strike. Here's the one one. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. One and two. Here it is. And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Back to back strikeouts keep him out of danger. Back with more on this fine Saturday night following this. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, I talked with Philadelphia's manager during the break about the Phillies' offensive production to this point, and he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. A lot of their outs have come from weak contact and strikeouts as a result of chasing pitches outside the strike zone. He said it's going to be extremely important for them going forward to be more selective with their swings and force the opposition to throw more strikes. Thank you, Heidi. New inning set to get underway. Stepping in the dangerous left-handed hitter, Jay Bruce. We're moving through the middle of this ball game right now. If they want to get things going, how about trying to get some base runners on or at least get a base hit? They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. And a third ball drops in there for strike one. Pitching a little bit backwards in this situation, I'd expect a hitter to be sitting off speed. can't come up with that one as he swings through it for strike two. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow, was he behind that fastball. Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go either way now, I suppose. And the throw on the first will take care of him, so he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. The third one one away. Well executed two seamer on the outside corner that time, and, and that's what you'll get a lot of with that pitch. He rolled right over it. So one away here with the bases empty, and that'll bring up the third baseman, Justin Turner. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Ball inside. Hey, struggling to find the release point of that curveball. That wasn't a very good one. Somehow he's just got to find that field because that's a pitch he's going to need going forward. Bases are empty, one man in. A ball and a strike. Look out, one and one. Two balls and a strike. The two one. Swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. Nice two-seam fastball there. You don't usually see a lot of swings now and misses down. with that pitch unless it's really moving. So that one must have had some real good late life. At the plate, Zach Collins. As he swings and grounds it toward the hole. Throw on to Adams will take care of him, and the inning is over. Phillies down in order. Halfway home, still no score. And back 
at Petco Park in San Diego as we check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked with San Diego's manager during the inning break about the Padres' offensive production at this point. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Despite the fact that they've yet to push a run across, the game is still tied, and the pitch count for their opposition is really getting up there. They think that making him work as hard as he has is going to pay off later in the game, and that they just need to stick to the process. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Digging in for his second at bat. Austin Hedges comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ball one. Residing in second place in the NL in that category. Striding in, Curtis Cantu. He drew a walk his first time up. Wheeler into his motion and the pitch. The 1 0. He's looked at for ball number two. I don't mind him trying to pitch him backwards right there with those two early count sliders. But now he finds himself in a situation where he's going to have to come fastball. Outside. Oh, 3 and 0 now. Well, he knows it. But this is the kind of guy you just have to go right after. He's not the biggest threat with the bat. So it's time to challenge him right here. Is the 3 0. He loses him on ball four. That's a nice job to work that walk right there. Even if it doesn't lead to anything with the scoreboard this inning, it prevents the pitcher from having to lead off in the next one. Just one of those small things that might go unnoticed, but in the end, make a big difference. Now at the plate, Zach Davies. He popped out in his first trip. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Hey. Fastball in there for a cold strike. Hey, it's not always about filling up the strike zone all the time in every inning. He's pitching well as we're moving into the middle innings, but interestingly, less than 50% of his first pitches have been for strikes. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. And this one's in the dirt. Good job keeping it close as the count goes to 1 and 1. From the belt, kicks and deals. Hey. Called strike on the inside, and he can't believe it at the plate. It's one and two now. Little chopper back to the mound. 
And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. One left for San Diego. Sixth inning coming up, still zip, zip. Next up will be the Phillies pitcher, Zach Wheeler. He we got things off here in the Philadelphia the sixth. Back. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hits softly on the ground to first. Feels it cleanly. And will step yeah. on first himself for the out. The bat, number two, shortstop, Gene Segura. And that'll bring up Gene Segura. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Here comes the first pitch. There's a two seamer inside to start the at bat. It's one and oh. Phillies are still looking to crack into the hip column in this one. A ball and a strike to the Phillies leadoff man. One home. Waves and misses for strike number two. He hasn't thrown that pitch much all game. I got to believe as an offense, you just got to throw that pitch away and move on to the next one. Hit down the third baseline. Well, this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. One out, nobody on. Ball, but that's easy to lay off and it's back to even at two and two. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up and really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone and there are two gone. This has not been a weekend to remember for him. He's just been completely lost at the plate. Flailing all over the place. Now that's his sixth strikeout of the series. They've really got him figured out. Here's Jose Peraza. And she'll watch a first pitch curveball drop in there for strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. One ball, one strike. Whoa, now a good down. pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Three and one. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. And this one misses for ball four. So the Phillies have got themselves a two out base runner. And you can tell by his body language that he's beyond frustrated by that call. He's got to be wondering what he's got to do. But the last thing he needs to do is to let it get under his skin. That will only make things worse. Ready for another chance. Mark Withenshaw. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Set. Here it comes. One out. Perfect time for a mound visit right here. Just give him a breather, a chance to collect himself and get back to work. Hey. A high strike there, and it's one and one. And he fouls this one off. Runner on first with two away. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Lifted down the line and left. 
And this will wind up a foul ball. Uh, two, two, one more time. We got full count. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. No runs, no hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. And it goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. And this will bang up against the wall. And they're going to take a 1 0 lead as the run comes across to score. Hey, Nero, it's kind of getting late and early. That's only their first hit of the game, and we're into the sixth inning. Yeah, hit. this guy's been on point all day, working it in and out. Their pitching staff obviously did their homework on this offense. But right here, able to break through with the first knock. Hopefully, the pass with the time mentality goes into effect, and we get some offense. And Blaine Parker will dig into the plate. And as the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. And it won't bite at that point either. It's 2 0. Harper swings and hits it very well to right. Here and I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. A two-run home run here for Bryce Harper. Home run number 37 on the year, and the Phillies open up a three-to-nothing lead. Man, you could tell by the sound of that one off the bat that was going a long way. Swing and a long drive again. This one to deep center. Myers retreats to the track and he'll put this one away. So a sigh of relief as the side is retired. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two run home run. Bottom of the sixth is straight ahead. It's now three nothing Philadelphia. Digging in to try it again. Number 28. Start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1-0 is offered at and missed for the first strike. Nice adjustment out on the mound. Overthrew the first one a little bit, but got on top and let that ball rip right out in front of him. Now the one and one pitch. It swung on and missed for strike number two. He struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. It's been a rough night at the yard for him. That's three times he's gone down on strikes in this one. So they've really figured out how to attack this guy. Up next is Fernando Tatis Jr. Swing and a line drive. Foul. No hits to this point. Wind up and the 0 1. Ball match outside.
line to the right side. Well, taking in over at first for the second out as that might have been extra bases if it were three feet higher. Now with the play, Tommy Pham, he singled his last time up. Yeah, guys, still the only hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. Oh, that fastball just misses. That's ball one. Very impressive outing so far. His command has been spot on. Even when he misses his spot, it isn't out over the heart of the plate. He's throwing quality pitches. The 1 0. Hey! Bases are empty here with two men out. Down into left center for a base hit. Now this rolls all the way to the wall. And he will pull into second with a two out double. Well, the pitcher can't really worry about that. But I mean, it was only the second hit of the game, so he's doing a lot of things right. Let's see if he can leave him out there now. So a runner at second, two down now. And up next, it's the left-handed power threat, Matt Adams. Wheeler pauses. Here's the first pitch. A ball and no strikes. Curveball down and in misses ball two. Now you can see he's working around this guy right here. Why not? First base is open. Walk wouldn't be the worst thing in this spot. Too tight three. with that one. Three and oh. There's absolutely no need to challenge him in this situation right here. Do yourself a favor, be smart. Nibble a little bit, maybe use his aggressiveness against himself. And that oh, misses that ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. The better fielder, number four. Yeah. Here's Will Meyer. See if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. It's about time somebody comes through right about now. 0 oh and 1, here it comes. Swing and a ball hit out toward right center. Center fielder giving chase. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Padres leave a pair. They trail it here 3 to nothing. To start inning number seven. Number 15, Emilio. Oh. All set for the start of the inning. Coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Jay Bruce. Jay Bruce. Here's the first pitch to him. Strike taken up in the zone. Oh, and now some action in the Phillies bullpen as a right-hander begins to crank it up out there. Well below the knees laid off on the change up there. Swing and a miss on the pitch outside. One and two now. 
here's the pitch. Back outside. Three ball, two strikes. Solo shot there for Jay Bruce. Home run number 16 for him on the year as the Phillies have opened things up now for nothing. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. Stepping in now, Justin now Turner. Third base. He'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Swing and a liner. Foul. That's inside and low. It's a ball and two strikes. Well, that's a pitch right there. You've got to just lay off. There's a good chance he's going to throw it on 0 and 2. And if you can recognize it starting down in the zone, you know it's only going to go down from there. Tried to hold up there. Peel down to first and no swing. It's ball two. 2-2. Uh, two -two. This is the kind of pitching that's frustrating for me to watch. He had him down 0-2, then he started getting cute, and now the count is full at 3-2. and two. It happens, but I'd rather see him attack the hitter and force contact if you can't get him to chase after a pitch or two. On the first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Ready for another shot now. Zach Collins, one run in and one gone so far in this inning. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And nope. that misses okay. ball one. Man, that's a great take right there. Backdoor slider just missed the outside corner. This guy must have a really good eye. Most guys swing at that pitch. The 1 0 home. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Bases are empty, one man in. A good action on the two seamer there, and it's one and two. Hey, that's a well executed pitch right there. That might have started middle, but you saw it breaking away to that outer part of the zone. This left handed batter right here has got two decisions to make. Is he going to ground out to second base all day, or is he going to drive the ball the other way? So he now gets him swinging on a pitcher's pitch. Back. Zach Collins is the second out in the seventh inning. To the plate now, Zach Wheeler. Bouncer to the left side. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Ladies and gentlemen, the Phillies tack on one more on this solo home run. Get up and stretch. Home half of the seventh coming up. It's now 4 0 Philadelphia. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And next to hit is the catcher, Austin Hedges. It doesn't look very promising so far on this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball, you need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. And it's a ball and a strike to Austin Hedges. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. Fouled away. A 
Ball and two strikes from Zach Wheeler. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're going to go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. And he punches out another one. Make it nine for the ball game. He's been in total control out there tonight. Gets the leadoff guy with a strike out there. And it just seems like we've seen so many off-balance swings and weakly hit balls in this one. Standing in now, Owen Miller. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. One strike. And this is low, ball two. Two and one. One out, nobody on. Is swung on and driven out to right center field. A ball that's well hit. Ball that's carrying. He can't get there in time. And now it hops over the wall for a ground rule. But he gets his first hit of the game here, and that'll yeah, extend his hitting streak. Yeah, and he didn't come out of this. He didn't come out of what he was trying to do all day. Dan kept the front shoulder up, kept the ice water in his veins, and didn't try and get too big. Extends the hitting streak. Nice job. You know, D. Rowe, I talked to him before the game about the streak, and he said the toughest part is he hopes to get hits early in the game to take the pressure off. He had to wait for the seventh inning in this one to come through. Fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. It's really hard to work deep in the games when you're having an outing like this guy is. You're going to strike out a lot of guys. Well, guess what? Your pitch count's going to go up, too. The 1 0 misses for the ball, second ball. One out and a runner on second base. And oh now. From the belt, kicks and deals. Oh, oh. And he takes ball four again. And they clearly just don't want any part of him in this game. And when your pitch count gets over 100, you've got to expect them to lose a little bit of accuracy out there. I think if he gets in any more trouble, they might come get him. We'll see if he can finish strong. Here comes the Philly skipper on his way out toward the mound. And that is going to be all for Zach Wheeler. So we'll leave here with one out in the seventh as he now hopes the bullpen can go ahead and get him the W. Zach Eflin takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. Zach Eflin. Manny Machado gets the call to pinch hit here, and he'll find he has a couple of runners aboard with only one out in the inning. Target here, and he hits it for strike one. A one pitch on its way. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. It's so hard to hit when you're behind the count 0 and 2, right? Now you have to protect the fastball. Hit. You have to look for the soft stuff down and away. You're really at a disadvantage when you fall behind 0 and 2. At the plate now, number 28, 
Nope. See, we'll look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. One and one the count now. Two down runners at first and second. Fouled off. And this is sent on the ground out to Segura at short. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Padres leave a pair. They're down four nothing. Sam Dyson is on his way into the ball game now as he'll be making his 50th appearance of the year. Ready to begin the eighth and stepping in is the veteran shortstop, Gene Segura. Here's the first pitch to him. 1-0. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. Inside, and he falls behind the hitter now 2 0. When you've got a guy that throws a good two seam fastball, you have to be ready for him to try to run it inside and jam you. Good job to lay off that one, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again. The 2 0. Bouncer to the left side. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. The batter number nine, second baseman, Jose Peralta. So striding forward now, Jose Peraza is 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Ground ball right side. A diving effort as it's off his glove. And not really much of a chance to recover there as he'll reach first on what undoubtedly will be scored as an infield single. Profar is off the bench now as he'll take over at second following the injury. Number 24. Now that the center fielder. So now to the plate, Mark Withenshaw. As he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner, it's 0-1. Hit hard with foul. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. 
I got to count one and two. If I'm in the box, you take a step out right here. Take a deep breath after that high fastball. You got to be leery of him burying something in the dirt. The one two gets him swinging. He struck him out. I think he had his mind made up. He was swinging the bat and trying to protect before the ball the right even left the pitcher's three. hand. That right. pitch wasn't even close. Harper. He would have needed a flagpole to get that one. Here's Bryce Harper now. But this won't get over the second baseman's glove as he's got it to end the inning. Philly strand one, but they hold a four to nothing lead. Starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Here's the 0 1. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0 2 now. Man, it's a pitcher you have to love pitching 0 2. Multiple ways up, down, in, and out, throw the breaking ball. A lot of different ways to get guys out. Bases are empty, one man out. And a check swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. The one two. Two ball, two strikes. Every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. Fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. What I like about that strikeout, guys, is that he came back with a fastball on 2 and 2. He was heading to count 0 and 2 earlier. Instead of continuing to nibble a little bit, he decided to get aggressive again and to challenge with his hard stuff. Into the box now, Matt Adams. Skied into straightaway right. Harper is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Padres down in order. They trail here four to nothing. Settling in now, Reese Hoskins. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Almost, Maddie. Almost oh, went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. One and oh, the count. That's why two and oh. You never want to fall behind as a pitcher, but doing it to a guy like this is even worse. He's got to bear down and execute for the rest of this at bat starting right now. And now pitch on the way. Ball three. Do next is the dangerous Jay Bruce. Set to deliver on 3 0. And no doubt about this one, it's in there 3 and 1. Stealing that strike on 3-0 was important, but you don't want to miss over the heart of the plate in this situation. 
I got to believe he's going to be way more aggressive right here. Get hard back up the middle. And this will make its way into center field for a base hit and the leadoff man support now to open the night. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. In now, Jay Bruce. As he'll take a cold strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Oh one, here's the pitch. Strike two is the fastball that's let go. After falling down 0 2 on the same pitch, don't be shocked if he triples up on it. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first down. That was some nice execution on that pitch. Spotted it nicely down around the bottom of the zone. And when you do that, especially with two strikes, not a lot of guys are going to hurt you. You're going to get a lot of ground balls and swings and misses down there. Into the box, Justin Turner. As the first pitch to him is a changeup. He can't find the zone. It's ball one. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. One and no delivery. High in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. They're going to probably stay away from this guy. He's got so much power. You don't want to miss over the heart of the plate. But I think when pitchers try to be too cute on that outside corner. They might leap one a little bit inside, and this is where that guy would jump out. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. Payoff pitch on its way. And That's that misses right. ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. Now back. Fred Stammen enters the game with one gone in the top of inning number nine. Now pitching for the Padres. Number 34. First assignment here is he'll face him with runners at first and second and one guy. From the belt, kicks and deals. Cool, that's inside. Challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Here it comes, 2 and 0. Oh. And there's ball three. Well, nothing can make you question yourself on that mound more than three straight balls to a guy you know that you should go right after. Sometimes you just lose the strike zone and you don't know why. And it's fouled away. Runners are at first and second with one away. This is in the air out to right. 
Right fielder giving chase. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Now that the pitcher that that one. Corey Dickerson will start to loosen up in the on-deck circle as he'll bat with two on and two out here. Corey Dickerson. Sinker to open the A-B in there for strike one. Two men are on with two men out. And he falls behind 0-2. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Nope. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there. And now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at bat if they want to get back in this thing. Phillies leave a couple. They lead it four to nothing. Mike Morin, six foot four inch now right hander, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Mike Morin. Ready once again, Will Myers. Again, what's gone wrong for this lineup today? They're only three outs away from being shut out. Well, I just haven't seen a lot of fight in these at bats. Now, of course, plenty of credit goes to that pitching. But the effort on the offensive side has been pretty lethargic watching from up here in the booth, Matt. Yeah, I would imagine it feels the same from watching in the stands in this one. First pitch of the at bat. And a high strike there, 0 and 1. Morin was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right hander. Popped him up. Collins has a play. One out. Now batting. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up of the zone. They took him up the ladder and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. And the play, Austin Hedges. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. From the stretch. And they start him out away with a cold strike. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. One out, nobody on. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. This is foul right side. Two two. We got three balls and two strikes. Turned on, but that's ripped foul down the third baseline. Three two. One more time. Ripped on the ground to first. Now that the third baseman, Owen Miller. Standing in, Owen Miller. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. 
First delivery to him on the way. Ball one, no strike. The 1 0. He swung on and missed in that one strike ball, one. one. Good pitch as this is one swung ball, on and missed. And now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. San Diego down to their final strike. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Yeah, and in this game, you always try to find a way to be hopeful. They win the first game of a new month and are now looking to keep it rolling the rest of the way. 4 nothing to score tonight. The Phils wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Zach Wheeler earns win number seven on the season, so that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watt, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.